people at the very top yes. who have more income and wealth, as a percentage of total income and wealth, than they have in about 80 years, yes. uh, they are paying a lower effective tax rate than they have in 40 years. Mm -hmm. So doesn't it make sense? I mean, this is not a radical statement to go back to a tax rate that we had after the Second World War up until 1980. So you're a socialist. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, under Dwight Eisenhower, the highest marginal income tax rate was 91%. So he was a communist. <laughs> <laughs> he was a Republican. He was a former general. And, you know, nobody accused him of being a communist or a socialist. Uh, and I'm not suggesting we go to 91%. I'm just saying, in those years, we had three decades after the Second World War, mm -hmm. the economy grew faster than it's grown since. And the, even the effective, even after all the deductions and tax credits, people at the top were still, uh, you know, taxed uh, around right. 55, 56 percent. 